Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. Today we are going to discuss about ARM template, uh, especially that skeleton, how to write it, and uh, in which tool we are going to write, and uh, which tool we are going to like learn or how to write and you know debugging and everything will do um so we're going to learn here so i hope uh, all people already watched the two videos it's a first uh, video is a arm template session one it's a explain about what is a arm template how is the useful high level we discuss that arm template and second session um how to write the uh, arm template means we required some tools so what are the tools how to install and how to configure on our system and that is a second session we discuss guys now coming to third session we are going to today i'm going to create a one file arm template on arm template how to create it that format that arm template format as well as how what is a skeleton and what is a structure syntax uh, some of the things we'll try to learn here today so before jump into the session guys uh, if you are not subscribed my channel please subscribe and if you like my videos please like and give the comments so it's a very helpful to me and it's a very encouraging uh, to me lot guys thank you very much let's jump into the session guys so today i'm going to show you how to create a ARM template file in Visual Studio Code. So in the last session, already we discussed how to install it. Let's jump into and go to the file. First of all, we need to create a one file. New test file I created. The test file in a select language or different editor, what we require exactly here. So this is a one, first of all, if it is going to, if it is going to uh, some format we required right now it's a you can see here plain test plain test is available we required in the json format so how to get that json format so if i click on here and save as Control shift s also we can use it some path you can define it in your desktop some path here also i'm defining my path in f drive practice arm like that it's a, i'm going to give the demo dot demo and uh, i required in the json format you can see save as a type is a json okay and save it so now you can see guys here changing the instead of plain test it's showing the json first thing that we should do it okay and coming to here if i'm going to uh, write arm so automatically i'm getting few of the schema related things here okay so what how i got it in the last video i already shown you in visual studio code there is an extension should be install it that extension is a install automatically it will populate like this otherwise it won't populate guys so that's the reason please watch uh, last video so that you will get it how i am getting automatically here okay that's the reason uh, please i am requesting please watch the last video and coming to here when I'm going to mention ARM, it's a few of the things it's showing. What are the these things? First, you if you see ARM, if I mention what it's saying that resource group template. So using this skeleton, we can able to deploy the Azure resources. We can able to deploy the Azure resources. This is a skeleton, guys. This is a by default skeleton schema. This is a schema where that file is available. It's a defining here. So here you can observe like a dollar. That means this is a variable and it's where that schema file is available, especially that JSON deployment template where available that uh, file it's showing here. Okay, next content version, parameter, function, variable, resources and outputs. Later on one by one we'll discuss. Okay, first we'll try to understand uh, one by one ERM what, when I given the ARM, what are the different uh, options we are getting? We'll try to understand that one. Okay, so I given the first of all ARM. So whenever I given just a minute, it's uh, to create a, a parameter file. No, just a minute. Let me go back here. ARM, because of its loading, you can see loading the ARM schemas. That's the reason I'm getting this issue, guys. Otherwise, automatically it will populate it. 
automatically it will populated so let's wait for a few seconds it's uh, still it's loading and generally sometimes it will take a little bit time to loading the schema there are different types of schema is available that's the reason it's showing so, so let's go back here let me create it one more file otherwise it's a just now it's a completed very good so here arm so if you we are going to select second option arm and mg that is a called management group if you click on this one what it's saying that management group deployment template management group deployment template if you don't know this management group that means you don't know the azure platform azure platform you don't know that's the reason you are going to getting the this question guys later on um, in the future i will create the videos so accordingly you can watch it but right now our session is a majorly arm template it's not about the uh, lan here totally uh, azure resources related how to deploy the azure resources we are learning here that's the reason i'm not going to deep explain about management group but just high level i will tell you uh, multiple uh, subscription managing purpose will use the management group will use the management group okay so here this is a management group deployment template guys this is a schema especially for management group deployment template schema and one more time if i'm going to give arm and it's showing the s that means subscription here subscription deployment template subscription deployment template but if you see everything is the same like schema, content version, parameter, functions, variable, resources, and output, everything is the same. There is no difference at all. But schema is going to change it. That is the major important. So that is also removed it. Again, again, I'm trying to here T, ARM T, that means tenant. So here, tenant deployment template. Tenant deployment template, guys. Here also, same skeleton. There is no difference at all. And one more thing, ARM it's a parameters especially it's a parameter separate file okay at that time we should use this schema we should use this schema that is a deployment parameters dot json deployment of parameters related separate that is a schema is also is available guys okay like this so majorly most of the time we'll use the resource group template this is a Azure resource template only. Majorly, we are going to use it. Okay. So that's the reason I'm selecting this is a one. Okay. Coming to schema. That schema file where it's available in this location. So if I'm going to copy this one totally, and you can see what exactly it's available here. What exactly here available. So let me open um, some Chrome browser here chrome and provide it and uh, you can see guys totally that schema is showing like this total that schema resource group deployment template related total schema guys total schema this is a one so uh, different api version references again different uh, related resources that uh, you know you can see backup protection intent like that each and every resource related that again that schemas integrate here total this is a one guys okay so there are different schemas is available nowadays latest schema what we are using here you can see 2090 04 and 01 that year and month and date okay this is a right now latest schema might be in future it's going to change it accordingly we automatically will get it that latest schema in visual studio code if it is automatically uh, update uh, that extension automatically latest any uh, you know skeleton it's a uh, getting automatically this schema file also it's going to change it this schema file also it's going to change it guys so totally in the schema only it's a majorly that all resources related what api version what uh, information all the schemas is available okay centralizedly everything it's a maintained on this okay second thing content version so content version means suppose today i'm creating uh, one resource deployment suppose is an example uh, today i'm going to deploy storage account i got the request so so and so specification they given today i rated the 
totally you know uh, that ARM template I write it um, so um, like maybe after two days and they come with and uh, these are the properties needs to be changed right now it's hot storage no 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 we require the cool storage might be it's a TLS version should be use the 1.0 or something else they will say so in this case I can change it this content version okay this is a modify so which is a latest version I should use it when I'm going to deploy it when I'm going to deploy it so uh, so I can understand the this based on this content version so if I maintain this is a templates multiple and based on that content version I can understand this is a latest one accordingly I should use it and accordingly deploy the resources so that's the reason that content version is a very important and next here there are different uh, things are there you can see parameter function variables resources and outputs before going to these all those things already mentioned what I mentioned this is a totally JSON JavaScript object notation so totally how this JSON is available that syntax and everything it's a key and value pair so this is a key and value pair we need to mention so that is a way key value pair wise json template is available and you can see specifically you can see here comma if i am remove the comma i am getting the error so why i am getting so must and should each and every uh, thing here very very important guys if i missed it something definitely will get the error so if it is a, whenever you are continuing next line at that time you should provide the comma otherwise definitely will get the error that is a very very important and next thing is a <coughs> curly brace and um, square brace uh, brackets is available what exactly this is the one so here it indicates curly braces indicate it's a start this is a end this is a first is a start that json it start from here curly braces and end here that is the way define it this curly braces so that json it's a start from here and end here in the parameters same like it's a variables also same like output also but what about this is a one square brackets what exactly this is a one in this what it's indicate here arrays it's a indicate arrays so here json based objects json based objects we are going to define it here it's a arrays and json based object we are going to define it multiple json based objects objects only we are going to define it under functions as well as resources that's the reason it's a curly brace it's a arrays guys okay very simple way i can say this is a arrays and json based object totally this is about it's a high level i can say it's a little bit more in depth wise we'll go one by one so right now this is a today session and i hope is a clear to everyone it's a today what we understand schema content version and what about curly braces what about um, square bracket that's it guys thank you if you like this video please give the your comments below as well as like and share with your friends and thank you for your support Thank you, guys.